Hey guys, it's Monty. Welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to do a, <clears throat> a little project share of some stuff I've been making using Scrap Diva Des Designs dies. Um, uh, I think I'm, I'm mostly using um, uh, Easter stuff just because I wanted to do something different. So I just kind of started <laughs> in on those. So um, let me show you what I've been making and which dies I have used. Okay, so first off, um, Erica sent me this, um, the Craft Tote die. Um, so uh, this has the different pieces to layer up and make pockets and the handle. Um, I guess from when you used to be able to, when you used to buy it, it didn't have one piece that cut out the handle to make it so you could like, you know, put your hand through type thing. But I think now I'm pretty sure that it does come with it. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure it does. Um, so that it will cut through the handle. Um, so uh, it's not 3D, but I actually um, went on to see, I have just kind of, I like to look at people's, you know, well, I watch everybody's videos, <laughs> um, but um, I watched Patty do one. Patty, who is Mommy and Me Crafts, um, she did a tutorial using this a while back, um, and she made it um, a 3D project. She made a box out of it. So I actually followed her tutorial on how to make a um, um, how to make it 3D um, and use it for a box. So um, I decided. So even though this is a craft tote, I decided it would make a cute little um, Easter basket. So I thought I would show you what my Easter basket looks like. I did post a picture on um, Instagram, I think. But so here is the basket, the Easter basket. So this is actually the craft tote, but I think it makes a cute box bag for you know whatever you want to use it for. So there's from the top. So it's a good size. I have a bunch of stuff in it. Um, I just put one pocket here in the back. Um, the other pocket here in the front, I just clipped it down. So um, that's what I did. Um, I decorated the front with some um, uh, flowers and, you know, still pieces, bows. And I attached this cute little um, safety pink safety pin here in the corner um, and put a couple little dangles hanging down there. Um, back here is like a oval shape. I forgot to bring that die out. It's one of Erica's um, uh, nesting, you know, like essentials. It has circles and ovals. So I cut an oval out back here for kind of like my background of um, out of that pink um, burlap. And then some chipboard pieces and just a bunch of different stuff to decorate the front. Okay, and then there's the back. I put the two side pockets, one on each side. I don't have anything in them yet. I just, this is not done. I just wanted to show you kind of some of the stuff I've been working on so far because it's been a while since I did a video. So anyway, that is the the craft tote made into a 3D box. Okay, I also, and I'll show you the rest of this here in just a second. I also <clears throat> used the craft tote die to make this is an envelope I made on my board anyway I made this one this is kind of a Valentine's one more <laughs> um, but I made a card out of it so rather than make it 3d I did um, you know cut it to where I could um, on the fold so that I would be able to make a card out of it so I just kind of decorated the front a little bit I use this die here too it's hello crafty friend it's um, this one right here it has a layering piece in the back piece and I got a bunch of you know flowers and ruffles and stuff on it tied a little twine and a little bead right there so then you just um, open it up and then there's a card for a crafty friend you won my heart and then the back so super sturdy because I have it on a 110 then plus then I have it layered up with a different um, pattern paper so it came out really cute so anyway that is a another project that I made using the the craft tote die that's not a craft tote so I think it turned out really cute okay so let me show you let's take all this <laughs> stuff out so here's my box again it's super sturdy um, Patty made a really good I didn't decorate the back 
um, Patty made it, did a really good video uh, a tutorial on how to put this together. So my first one I did um, didn't turn out as well. Let me just tell you, if you're when you use these dies, I would suggest you know doing a couple like right away. You get so good and fast at it, and it gets so easy um, to do if you do a few. Um, and I would also recommend if you go to do your first one, don't use like if you only got a little bit of paper or you're limited on the the pattern that you're using. I would recommend you don't use that for your first <laughs> project. Put it together first in just some basic paper, you know, even just plain cardstock rather than than any pattern paper so you don't waste it because it seems like there's always something that ends up happening. So um, that's what I've started to do now. I just put it together first with some basic stuff I don't care about and then read, you know, do it again once I get together to see how it all works together. So anyway, I think that turned out pretty cute. So thank you, Patty, for that. I'll, I'll link Patty's um, video that um, gives you that tutorial on how to make that a box. It's a super good and easy um, video to follow. So I used the crafty, some of the crafty words from Erica. So I showed you that hello crafty friend. And then there's also another one that says eat, sleep, craft, repeat. I, I don't know what I did with that die. It must be in the pile here that I have. <laughs> um, but anyway, let me show you. So here's, here's the just plain, not decorated, hello crafty friend. And I did it a couple different ways different colors, different backgrounds. Okay, and then here's the eat, sleep, craft, repeat. And here's another one. So there's just some basic ones. And then here's a few that I decorated a little bit. Just, you know, put some chipboard pieces and trims and puffy stickers. And this is a banner piece. This is Erica's older banner set. I think I forgot to bring that too. I think it's a uh, pin flags or something like that. It has a bunch of them. I use them all the time. I must have. It's got all different shapes <clears throat> of little um, banner pieces. I use those all the time, especially when I want to um, put a word. Uh, let's see if I have any right here. I like on this one. I have words. They're great for layering a word on. Okay, so there's one that's decorated. Here's the eat, sleep, craft, repeat. Bunch of little pieces, they turn out so cute. Here's this one. Okay, and then this one. Okay, oh, this is just a little thing from Dollar Tree I had in there, just kind of seeing what all I was gonna stick in. So this is um, a, a wood pick that I got from somewhere and I just used that for my base and covered it up. Um, but anyway, I was using this is the, um, this is a, um, Scrap Diva Designs. This is a bow straw topper. And I have all three sizes layered up here on this. And I just pushed them up over the stick. I think that turned out really cute. So you have all the different, you know, little layers. So just made a cute little pick to stick in the back of my little basket. Okay, and then I also made these. Now these are using these cute little, um, I think they're right here, from the Dollar Tree last year. Um, I picked some up, people were making some stuff out of them. I never did use them after I picked them up last year, so I made them this year. So look how cute this turned out. This is my base. Covered the top piece with a piece of pattern paper. And then, um, so here's a bunch of those banner pieces that the, um, what are they called, pin flags different shapes that I layered up in different, um, you know, pattern papers and materials. Um, and then I layered some words um, off of the sticker sheet. I'm, I'm using bunnies and blooms from Simple Stories. And so have that all layered up here, different words on foam, um, little, just little pieces, little pom-poms, little bows. Then this is the um, Valentine um, pennant set definitely does not have to be used for um, for Valentine's obviously so I have that layered up there and it turned out so cute this bottom piece I wanted to make it look you know this is reminds me of like mash <laughs> I, I love mash and I watch it all the time but um, you know how they have you know the different cities and stuff where all the um, soldiers are from and then 
like they're kind of breaking and twisting and falling. But anyway, I kind of want to make that look like that. So that's why this one I just cut. And then I just have it kind of like hanging and I just attached it with my tiny attacher from Tim Holtz. So it looks like it's just kind of hanging there, a piece of it. So I think that turned out so cute. Got some pom-poms up here in my flower center. So there's that one. And then here's another one. Same basic thing, just different colors and different words and different, you know, different pieces I've added on, but basically the same thing. I think they turned out so cute. So there's those. Um, let's see, what else have I done so far? Uh, okay, now next, I don't think I've shared these yet. So let me um, move these out of the way real quick and I'll share these. I threw a bunch of Easter eggs in the basket just to kind of hold up stuff. And like I say, I'm not done with it yet, but um, I just want to share with you what I've done so far. Okay, so now I um, have used Erica's dies again. This die set I'm using is this one. This is the um, wavy, wavy flag die set. I use the smallest one on this. So I have my pieces layered, um, um, layered up. I have... Um, uh, what is that called? Crepe paper. Um, rosette that I've cut shapes out of, which I love to do. Um, this is, back here is one of those pin flags again from Erica, from the other set. Um, words layered up, little pom-pom trims, puffy stickers, a sticker that I put on cardstock and then cut it out, chipboard piece behind here, flowers, those little doodads just to make it look pretty. And I put it on top of a straw rather than a pick. So I flattened the straw a little bit in the back, you know, on the top there to put my stuff on. So anyway, these are some of those straws that are from Dollar Tree, I think. So there's that one. And oh, I forgot to show you this. This is the Valentine pennant set that I'm using. A lot of my things. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, here is another one. All layered up another I cut a die cut again out of the um, crepe paper rosette little flowers and chipboard pieces and bows I think it just looks so pretty so these look so cute sticking out of a loaded envelope or like I say like this basket um, you can make them shorter and you know make them more like you know gift them as like an embellishment and just you know you don't have to leave the straw you know that long if you don't want to Okay, here is another one. A little bit different pieces, but still kind of the basic, but I think they all turned out super cute. Love all the different layers. So there's that one. And then there's this one. A little bunny, this is the bunny from Dollar Tree I just got this year. And then a bunch of, you know, rosettes and stickers and flowers and resin pieces and puppy stickers. So that is how that one came out. I think they all turned out really cute. Um, I'm working on some more stuff right now, but um, so I'll share that when I get those done. But I wanted to share with you what I had so far. And um, just to give you some inspiration. So like I say, this craft tote, super versatile, does not have to be just for a, a craft item. You can use it for anything, especially when you make it 3D with um, using Patty's um, tutorial. So I will link all the dies. I will link Erica's website. I'll link Patty's video that shows you the tutorial on how to make it a box. It gives you, you know, measurements and everything. It was super easy to follow. Patty does really good um, tutorials. Um, so really good. And then also, you know, think of it in other ways too. You know, like a card. Okay. So um, I have some other things I'm working on that I will be back to share with you soon. So thank you so much for watching everybody and I will talk to you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye.